Josh, obviously disappointing to lose today, but I think we need to start with what an incredible season it has been for this football club and everyone associated with it. Yeah, it definitely. It's, it's quite a weird feeling. Um, obviously, you know, we got the promotion, which, you know, we've all said at the start of the season, we, we would never have thought about winning the league. Um, and, you know, seven games ago, we were thinking, all we were thinking about was promotion. We had the chance to win the league today and it would have been amazing to do it, but, you know, it's one of them, you, you don't know how to feel, but I think we've just got to look at, you know, we, won the, um, we got promoted and, you know, we've got to live with that. And obviously, um, it's a great thing. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Obviously, after so long in League Two, it's new challenges next season, League One, and I think we can learn a lot, not just from the season, but we can probably learn a lot from today's game as well. Port Vale are a very good side. Yeah, they are. They're, I mean, you know, the, the way they you know, went about today, you know, they needed to get those points because um, I don't think the results went their way above, but, um, you know, they're, they're a real tough team to play against. They slowed it down at the end, which, you know, is what any team would do. Um, you know, they're a really good team and, you know, you've got to give them credit. Um, but yeah, it's a shame we, you know, we, we didn't bring our best today, but we didn't bring we didn't bring our worst either. So obviously, it's a bit disappointing. But yeah, that's that. And it was strange in the stands as well. I think we knew when Mansfield had scored because it sounded like, sounded like we'd scored from the Big Bang. Yeah. And then I think when Forest Green scored, the Port Vale fans were cheering. It, it, how much were you picking up on what was going on elsewhere? A little bit, yeah, because. You know, when I heard the fans cheering, I was thinking, what's going on? And then it clicked, obviously, Mansfield must have scored. So, um, you know, it was, it was hard to get that ahead, I guess, in a sense, because you're thinking, oh, they scored, we're going we're gonna to win the league. And then you just don't know what's going on. But I think, you know, one thing you've got to learn from that, and I've got to learn, is no matter what's going on, we've just got to try and win the game. Um, but, you know, we, we, we gave it a rule out there today, you know. Um, and, you know, it's a shame we, we came up short, but, you know, it's not like we left anything on the pitch. And I think that's what we've got to think, really. And we throw absolutely everything at it, like yeah. you said. And, and this year, 2022 alone, only four defeats in the league. It's not hard to see why, why we finished where we did. No, exactly. You know, you've got, to, you've got to look at the positives of everything going into next year as well. We've got to take exactly the same mindset that we did this year. Um, and, you know, who's, who, who knows what could happen? We could do the same thing. So I think, you know, we've just got to take every positive, look back on what we did well this year and what we can improve on. Um, which, were, which the you know the staff will do really well. So um, it's exciting what, what we got coming out. <laughs> Reflecting on your season personally, how how pleased are you with how you played? Yeah, I'm, I know I'm someone who I always criticise myself, and you know I wasn't necessarily happy in the sense of how I did. I would have liked to you know contribute more, um, but you know I grew and I I learned a lot this year, um, and yeah I didn't perform necessarily as well as I, I would have liked to, but. Um, you know, I've just got, I've just got to keep growing and keep improving, and look back on everything this year and try and learn from it. Um, so yeah, and pitched in with a couple of goals as well. When you, when you exit City Canu boy, and you've made it to the first team, you always dream of scoring those goals. You and do. Yeah, everyone just feels amazing, doesn't it? It does. I mean, you know, I did it last year as well. I scored really early on. I'm thinking, cock, oh, get a few this year. Scored two, and then that was it. That's my contribution. But um, no, obviously, I wish I would have scored a few more. But again. Any academy lad that comes through, you know, it's, it's an honour to play for the club that you're at. So um, I really cherish this moment, you know, for I always say it, for the rest of my life. And you know, I hope I did. You know, my family and all my mates who are in the big bank crowd too. Um, and that's what you know I play for as well. So it's a big thing. And you certainly did for the club as well. Look, I know you, you spoke in January a lot of spe speculation around yourself, and you, you spoke about how that affected you. But I think when when January was over, you really were focused on that goal, which was promotion, weren't you? Oh, 100 percent. You know, it's it's always in your head. Um, you know, when you have too much noise going on in your mind, things, you don't know why, but they just, they get a bit hectic and, um, you know, it, it took a lot from the staff to help me get through it. Um, but, you know, I just, I just want to enjoy my football um, and, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed my football this year. Um, and, yeah, as I said, I'll, I'll never forget this moment with, with the club um, and, you know, exit will always be in my heart as well. So, um, yeah, I love this club so much and hopefully whatever happens next year, League One, um, we can do it again. It has been a long old season, 46 league games, some you know, cup games as well. Two months now, two and a half months to, to just relax. What, what's, what's your plans? Where are you going on holiday? Anywhere nice? Oh, I think I'm going <laughs> with my family to Sicily. That's one of them. I haven't booked anywhere else yet. Um, I think it'll be something spontaneous if I do, because I like the spontaneity, you know, it's a bit of risk. Um, but no, I, I want to see some of my mates I haven't seen in the whole year. Um, and, you know, spend a bit of time with family. Uh, that's the main thing and give back to them, you know, all the support they've given to me. So, yeah, hopefully I can do that. And of course, we've still got so much to celebrate. We're exactly. a League One side next season. We've yeah. gained promotion. We've got the bus parade on Monday as well. We it, it, yeah. You know, the pie doesn't stop there. The pie not, doesn't not stop. Not quite yet. <laughs> not quite yet. The pie doesn't, well, what's the song? Party, don't. Don't stop the party. Don't stop the party, that's it. It's Czech song. <laughs> it's Czech song, <laughs> yeah. Czech the party. Yeah, um, 
No, yeah, the party don't stop and uh, we've just got to enjoy these moments. Um, even till the start of next season, we've got to enjoy the summer because, you know, we worked really hard for it. Um, and, you know, we've got to really celebrate together, um, give each other a good pat on the back. And then when the time comes after the summer, we go again. That's life, isn't it? We go again.